that was distracting. Okay. <laughs> Hey friend, I hope you're doing so well today and that you are ready to crochet an absolutely beautiful kite inspired design. Have a look at this gorgeous melee shawl. Janica Carter, who is so amazing, designed this beautiful pattern for you and she called it Malay because that is actually the name of a diamond shaped tailless kite. And I don't think we've really had a shawl shaped like this before, so it is so unique and I am wildly in love with it. This pattern is so amazing. I love it so much because it is such a unique design and I find that it's really fun to double it up and wear it like a scarf or a shawl. You can also drape it on your couch for a nice throw that you can cozy up in whenever you want to grab a little cup of tea or a cup of coffee and a good book and just curl up for a nice relaxing time. This pattern is for the adventurous beginner. It is primarily single crochets and a few fun V stitches, which I'm going to show you how to work in just a minute. The beauty of this design is accentuated with this gorgeous gradient of six different speckled shades that shift and melt and fade into each other. It's absolutely stunning. The kit that we use to create this gorgeous gradient of colors is called Garden Hues and it has our pearlescent fingering yarn. It's got silk in it. It's got some superwash merino wool so it is very soft and it just shines and it drapes and it makes the most wonderful shawls. Hop on over to expressionfiberarts.com to download this pattern. We will also put the direct link in the description for you. And the cool thing about this pattern is not only does it include the written instructions, but it also has charts. I know a lot of you love crochet charts. I would love to show you just how easy this shawl pattern actually is. I'm gonna be demonstrating today the setup rows as well as the first row of the actual V-stitch pattern. Here's row one of the setup row. For row one, you're gonna start with a slip knot and you're gonna begin with a chain two. One, two, and then you're gonna work three single crochets into the second chain from your hook one, two, and three. And now you're gonna place a removable stitch marker onto that center stitch. And we're gonna be moving it up on each row, keeping it in the center. And here's how you work row two, and this is gonna be the same for all wrong side rows. For row two, you're gonna chain one and turn, and you're gonna work one single crochet into each stitch across. When you come to your little center marker, you're going to remove it, work a single crochet into that stitch, and then move your stitch marker up to this next row, and then finish out the row by working a single crochet into that final stitch. Okay, let's go ahead and work row three. Row three, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to work one single crochet and you're going to repeat that until you get to your center single crochet, which on this row, we're already there. Remove your removable stitch marker. And then in the center single crochet, you're going to work three single crochets. One, two, and three. So we've increased two stitches on this row. And make sure to put your little removable stitch marker on that center stitch and then finish out your row by working a single crochet into each stitch across. And on this row, it's just one stitch. For rows four through 10, you're gonna repeat rows two and three, three more times, and then repeat row two once more. And this is what you should be looking at once you have completed those setup rows. Now we're gonna begin the fun V-stitch pattern, which you're gonna find throughout this shawl. So I'm gonna show you how to work row one. All right, we're gonna start with a chain one and you're gonna work a single crochet into that first stitch. Now we're gonna work a spike stitch, three rows down, three stitches in. So to do that, you do a yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a nice big loop. 
Then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna skip a stitch on the working row, which is this one, and we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch on that working row. Now we're gonna work another spike stitch into that same stitch that we worked the previous one. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a big loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and this is called a V-stitch. Now we're gonna work a single crochet into this, we're skipping one, we're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch on the working row. Now this is our center stitch, so we're gonna actually work three single crochets into that center stitch. And you wanna remember to continue to move your stitch marker up so you can always know where the center of your row is. Go ahead and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're gonna work another V stitch. So we're gonna hop over and skip three stitches and work into the next stitch here. Yarn over, insert your hook into the indicated stitch, yarn over and pull up a big loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, now skip a single crochet on the working row and in the next one work a single crochet and let's work another one of these yarn over insert into that same stitch yarn over and pull up a nice hefty little loop there yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then you're going to finish off your row by working a single crochet into the final stitch, being sure to skip that second to last stitch. And then the rest of the pattern is essentially repeating those super easy stitches, just lots of single crochets and the fun V stitches, which you now know how to work. So if you can get this far, you can definitely do the rest of the shawl. So we hope you give this pattern a go. It really is a beautiful one and we cannot wait to see your finished version. And I hope when you are making this kite inspired shawl that you remember to allow your dreams to soar. All right, you go out and have a wonderful day and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye for now. And go ahead. Hey friend. Hello. I oh, <laughs> that was distracting. Okay. I don't believe we've ever had, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>